is Jake from MookaRev.com bringing you a video review today for one of Starbucks' newest flavors, Pirate's Cave. I will warn you though, I will not be making any pirate's noises or phrases because I don't want to be cliche tonight. So, Pirate's Cave, uh, many thanks to Starbucks, good folks over at Starbucks for sending me out the sample for this. Um, I'm really excited to review this. They also sent me a couple of other, uh, one of the, some of the other new flavors. Uh, excited to, to review those out for you guys too. Um, so Pirate's Cave, let's get straight to it. The consistency of the tobacco, it's pretty straightforward, but it's a little different. It's almost, it's almost a little creamier this time around. Uh, I had a little problems uh, with the fuzzy lemonade batches. It was a little too watery, a little too runny. So they definitely fix it this, uh, this time around. Uh, but it's, like I said, it's a little more creamier, but it's still ju really juicy, just as you, you'd expect from Starbucks. But whatever they did, it, it, it smoked great. So good job. <laughs> Anyways, so Pirate's Cave, that is the picture on the can. So, what does it smell like? From the can, it smells like really, really, really sweet. I want to say almost like a lime, maybe like a lime margarita. Lime margarita. So, got my KM set up here, Vortex Bowl, three coconut coals, been smoking for about... 20 minutes now, just kind of enjoying it. First time I tried this, want to get my honest opinion on it for myself uh, and for you guys, of course. Um, but yeah, let's get right to it. Do we really need to touch on cloud output? It's Starbucks, you're going to get amazing clouds. Um, but the taste-wise, I was a little afraid that the overly sweet smell of this stuff would just make it an unpleasant session, but I was wrong. The flavor gets a little subdued, and you really taste uh, a pretty consistent flavor throughout the session. I would have to describe it as going back to the lime, like a lime margarita, but almost like a dirty lime margarita. Really thick clouds, uh, great heat management as always, and uh, I'm just, I was, you know, there was a lot of hype built on this because Starbucks has been coming out with a lot of new flavors, really exciting to me because uh, there was a time period where uh, there wasn't really many flavors coming out, but whatever you guys are doing over at Starbucks Labs, please keep it up for us so we can try these new flavors. Um, but Pirate's Cave, I was trying to link together what relation, what flavor this could have been. Um, what do I think of Pirate, I would have thought like rum, maybe some coconuts, uh, but lime margarita. So I guess Pirate's Cave, if we pondered into Jack Sparrow's cave somewhere in the Caribbean uh, and saw him chilling there, maybe sipping on a lime margarita out of a dirty glass, okay, maybe, but I thought Pirates only drank rum, but whatever, it's all good. Um, but yeah, I guess maybe that's the correlation. It definitely tastes uh, very tropical uh, with our summer weather about to come. This would be a great flavor to smoke outside, just like I said, with maybe like a glass of iced tea, or maybe even a glass of margarita or something. But um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty enjoyable flavor. Like I said, always great clouds with this. Um, this flavor is starting to be readily available on a lot of online vendors. Uh, you can even check out Starbuzz's new website, starbuzztobacco.com. But, uh, more of the stores, almost every uh, every store that carries Starbucks should be carrying this uh, fairly soon. So try to pick some up if you like uh, if you like a lot of the mixed drink flavors. I think that's a little more accurate as far as what you're going to expect because you hear Pirates Cave, you don't know what you're going to get. But that's that that's how I'd have to describe it, like a lime margarita out of a dirty glass, which is a good thing. So much different from their regular margarita. So if you like that, definitely pick this up and uh, give it a shot. Uh, Hoogarev.com official rating, we're going to give this one an 84 out of 100. And that's it for tonight, guys. So, until next time, this is Jake from Hoogarev.com.